In this video, we will show you how to submit and review study leave applications on the microsite. A digital form is specifically designed for Homerton colleagues who are employed in a substantive role. To access the microsite, go to people.homerton.nhs.uk. As an applicant, you can locate the form by hovering your mouse on the Careers tab. Select Digital Forms. And then Study Leave. Log in using your NHS.net email address. If it's your initial login on the microsite, you can click Forgot Password to set a new password. Once you've logged in, click on the Study Leave button. This will open the application form for you to fill in. If you're applying for study leave for yourself, select Applying for Myself. Then you will see that your personal details are pre-populated. This information is from your ESR profile. Proceed to complete the form, including your band and profession. Your application must be approved by your line manager. This field should already contain your line manager's email address. If this is incorrect, please consult both your line manager and the ESR support team. If your line manager is on long-term leave and therefore unable to approve your application, you can tick this box to send the application to your line manager's manager instead. They will provide approval here on microsite. Please provide details of the opportunity you're applying for, including the course title, activity type, training provider, course web link and your course dates. Also enter the study leave duration and the amount of funding requested. Write a supporting statement about why you have chosen this course and how it will positively impact the service we provide. Scroll down to read the learning agreement. Here, you can upload a screenshot of your ESR portal, showing your compliance with Homerton mandatory training. Study leave applications will only be approved if you are up to date with your mandatory training. By providing this screenshot, you can help to speed up the review process. At the bottom of the application form, type your electronic signature. Click the submit button to submit your application or click the Save button to save a draft application, which you can access later in the Members area. After an application is submitted, you will see this message saying Application Submitted for Manager Review. You can also see the status of your application by going to the Members area and clicking the My Applications tab. The application status will be shown at the top of the form. If you are the applicant's line manager, you will receive an email notification as soon as the application is submitted. To review the application, log in to the microsite using your NHS.net email address. Then go to the Members area in the top right corner and click the My Applications tab. This page displays the applications you have made, as well as those submitted by your direct reports. To review an application, click on the eye icon. Here you can review the application in full detail. At the bottom of this page, complete the Manager Review section. And then indicate whether you support this application by clicking the Approve or Decline button. If you choose Approve, it will show a message that says Application Submitted for Education Review. By returning to your Members area, you can see the current status of this application. For example, whether it is pending approval by the education team, by the commissioning lead, or if it has been declined. You can click the Export Applications button to download all applications that you have reviewed as a line manager. When the education admin receives this application, they will review the details provided by the applicant and their line manager. If there is sufficient information for the education admin to approve this application, they will indicate what funding budget is applicable, as well as assign a commissioning lead to review this application. If more information is required, the education admin can release the application as a draft for the applicant to resubmit. This draft will become accessible in the applicant's own members area. In this example, the application is approved by the education team, 
and is now sent to the commissioning lead for review. As with the other user roles, the commissioning lead will receive an automated email when they are invited to review a study leave application. By logging into the members area and clicking the My Applications tab, the commissioning lead can click on the eye icon to review the study leave application. They can see the application details in full. The only input required is to either click the Approve or Decline button at the bottom of the form. If approved, the application will be sent back to Education Admin for final decision. When the Education Admin has all the necessary details, they will click Approve to indicate the final approval here. The applicant will receive an automated email confirmation, as well as a separate follow-up email about the next steps before the course is due to commence.